what is up adg traders this is monia and welcome back to my trading channel today i'm going to bring you a strategy that is best suited for trading all the volatility indices uh, that we have in the market as you can see right here on my screen uh, this is the strategy that i'm going to be teaching you guys we're going to go through the step-by-step -step process of installing this strategy and i'll also take you through the process of knowing when to use uh, this strategy uh, like many other strategies here on this platform this is a very good strategy that you can try out uh, and practice on your demo accounts first before you move on to your real accounts so uh, if you haven't watched any of my videos uh, please go check out the other videos that I've posted especially uh, the previous video that I've posted here on this channel it's going to help you uh, very much grow your accounts okay if you're also new to this platform please make sure you click on that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you are notified each and every time i post videos like this this will allow you not to miss any of the updates we do to the strategies so that you are kept in line with the latest uh, strategies okay you can also join our free telegram community uh, where i post strategies where i post updates where i post signals uh, it's completely free to join the link is in the description box below uh, you can just click the link and it will take you straight to that uh, platform with over 7,000 uh, traders so it's a big trading community that I'm sure uh, it will help you uh, with your trading journey it will help you grow in your trading journey okay I've also posted a strategy on my second YouTube channel where I do uh, live trading sessions where I do in-depth analysis on trading so please make sure you go check out that channel i have also left a link in the description box below that can take you to the channel it's a very powerful uh, channel you can also subscribe to it for some live trading sessions and in-depth analysis on uh what we are trading right now so without wasting much time i want us to dive into uh today's business today's strategy and i want to teach you guys uh uh, this powerful strategy guys if you only knew how much i would have uh, tried and tested these strategies you'd be very happy and very excited each and every time uh, i post if you're excited that i've posted the video today please comment down below show me that you're excited uh show me that you're excited right so uh let's get to today's business i'm going to remove all the indicators that you see right here on my charts and we are going to do uh, the step-by-step -step process of installing uh, these indicators. And then I'll talk about uh, the conditions, the simple conditions that have to be met for you to be able to enter into a trade. Uh, We're mostly going to want to focus on V75 with this strategy because V75 is one of the most rewarding, um, one of the most rewarding uh, index that we have. So we would really want to focus on that uh, very much right but it doesn't mean that all the other ones don't reward uh, right now uh on v10 if you were in my vip signals group it paid up a lot it paid up a lot you can even go check that out the results of the v10 signal that i sent in my vip group it was very powerful people made money right go check it out in my telegram channel uh, and you see the results are in there so the first indicator that we want to install right here on our charts is going to be the Bollinger Bands. So I'm going to go to my indicator indicators section, then look for the Bollinger Bands, which is right here. And these Bollinger Bands are going to have the following properties. We're going to have a period of 34, a shift of zero, a devia deviations of uh, 1.619, and then we're going to apply to close. And then the color for our Bollinger Bands, I have chosen the color black. Uh, please make sure you choose a color which is different from your background color so that you don't mix up your stuff, right? Uh, please try and make sure that you also increase the width of the Bollinger Bands so that they're clearly visible on your charts. I've put mine to 3 pixels and you can also increase uh, yours to any size that you prefer. And then you're going to click on save. You can take a screenshot of these settings or you can write them down or you can pause the video. Uh, depending on what uh, you really prefer right and then we're going to click on done and as you can see we now have bollinger bands are running across uh, our charts right there the next indicator that we want to install is the relative strength index 
example the rsi as it is known the rsi and this rsi we wanted we wanted to provide levels for us so the period is going to be one we're going to apply to close and on levels we're going to need the following levels that you see on my screen level 90 level 10 level 9 level 11 level 89 and level 91 right and then just put any color of your choice for the levels but make sure it's clearly visible i have a white background so my colors i would usually prefer to use black because it would be very much visible on a white background right and then we're going to click on done uh and you should have something like this the first time you install this rsi right the color for the rsi doesn't really matter because it has a period of one it will be barely significant on your charts but you can just put it the same styling as the color of your background so i have a white background that's why you see that my styling right here is also white right okay and then we're going to click on done and then the next indicator that we want to install is the macd and we want this macd to be under our indicator window one so we're going to go to indicator window one and choose the macd which is right here and it is going to have the following properties so we're going to have a fast EMA of 12, a slow EMA of 26, a MACD SMA of 9, apply to close, and then no levels for this MACD, but what we're going to need uh, is the styling. So you can just put the styling to any color of your choice. I'll choose the main to be green, and then the signal to be red, right? And then you're simply going to click on done, and as you can see, we now have our MACD uh, installed right there, okay? And then lastly, we want to install, uh, we want to install a moving average, and we want this moving average to be on our indicator window one, which is right here. And we're going to go to moving average, and this moving average should have the following properties, a period of five, a shift of zero, a method of exponential, apply to close, and then the styling, you can pick any color of your choice, but I'll choose brown, and for the sake of this video, I'll be referring to this brown color, so please make sure uh, it also aligns with the colors that you have on your charts as well, right? And then we're going to click on done, and right now we have successfully installed our strategy. And now what's left is knowing when to buy and when to sell when you're using uh, this type, uh, this strategy. I'm also going to tell you the time frames that you can use this strategy on uh, and the time frames that I actually prefer to use this strategy on. But this is really a powerful uh, strategy. Uh, before I proceed, guys, please make sure you like this video to support this channel. If you want to keep uh, seeing this um, uh, channel growing please make sure you like and you subscribe and you turn on your notification bell so that you are notified whenever i post uh, videos like this right here on this channel remember to join the free telegram channel where i post strategies where i post signals where i post uh, anything to do with trading and i've also post my results from these strategies that i'll be using and i'll also be sharing how the our account management program goes how our, our VIP signal services goes and how the membership program goes as well. Okay, if you want to be trading like me, if you want the exact uh, blueprint of how I trade, I can just teach you exactly how I trade, right? So it's quite it's quite easy. I've taught so many people that are trading exactly uh, like me and making some profits. So you only be able to learn of that. If you join with the link in the description box uh, below okay so the first thing that we want to clarify on is the time frame we're going to be using either the 15 minute time frame the 30 minute time frame or the one hour time frame as for me i prefer the 15 minute time frame so i will be showing you examples from the 15 minute time frame you can then later on go and practice uh, on the 30 minute time frame and the one hour time frame depending on the type of trader that you are right and then on the zoom level, we're basically just going to need to probably use the third from last zoom level or the second from last. Still doesn't matter as long as it fits perfectly on your on your charts like that. And we're going to be following very simple rules uh, for us 
uh, to trade, right? I was just going to start by uh, explaining probably a sell uh, scenario. So let's say you want to enter into a sell. Right now I'm on V10, volatility 10 index, on my 15 minute time frame, uh, on the third zoom, uh, on the third last zoom level. And I just want to explain the conditions that have to be met for you to enter into a sell. Firstly, you want your market or your candlesticks to cross to be below to cross to be below or that upper bend so on our bollinger bands we have three bands we have the upper band which is this one we have the middle band and then we have the lower band so we're saying for you to enter into a sell we want price or the market to cross to be below our lower band like what it did right there where i I set a box, right? That's the first condition. The second condition is you want your brown line right here. You want your brown line on your indicator window one to have touched uh, level 80, 89 to level 90 right there, right? So your brown line should touch your level, your level uh, 89 and 90. That's the third that's the second condition and then from there on you are free to enter a sell trade right you are free to enter a sell trade you can also maximize your entries by also looking at this signal line and the brown line cross whereby the brown line and the red line cross right there which is right here when they cross this is can be this can act as a further confirmation on your entry but the first two conditions are good enough for you to enter into a sell trade the third one is just to confirm your trade as you wait up until uh, your take profit level has been reached your take profit level should come from having uh, this red line touching our zero level or should come from the second crossing of the red line and the brown line or it can come from your risk reward ratio so there are so many ways for you to be getting into in and out of trade right let's take a look at v75 so that i don't make this video too long I'm just going to be explaining the sales scenario. We said the first thing is what? Uh, we want our market to cross to be below the upper bend, which it did there. We want this brown line to have reached uh, our level 89 to 90, of which it did, which means we are supposed to take a sell trade, right? And as you can see, the market uh, sold all the way down right the opposite is true when you want to enter a buy trade you want your market to cross to be above that that upper bend that lower bend this time this time for a, for a buy trade you want it to be a, to cross to be above uh, the lower bend the second condition is that brown line should be uh, that brown line is our ema uh five for those that uh didn't use the same colors as me it's our ema5 so i'll just be referring it as the brown line and as you can see the market pushed all the way up so you can look for so many examples here was a sell i'll just be putting uh, this red line to signify entry points there was an entry i'm sure there are so many entries there was another entry gain an entry so we can go on and on and on right with these entries but I, what i want you guys to do is to go and practice what i've just taught right here first practice it on your demo accounts and then move to real accounts once you're comfortable uh, with what i have taught right remember all the conditions that i talked about and trade 
and a smart way. Until next time.